The overall goal of this procedure is to isolate mesangiogenic progenitor cells, or MPC, from the human bone marrow by selective culture conditions for testing both their mesangenic and angiogenic potentials. Mesangiogenic progenitor cells have been identified at low percentage within mesenchymal stromal cell culture optimized for clinical application, when FBS has been replaced by human serum. This technique is unique in that it allows the consistent isolation of a large number of highly purified MPCs suitable for sprouting angiogenesis and the generation of synchronized MSC cultures. We discovered this method when, after trips in digestion of MCs culture in autologum serum, Few fried egg shake cells remain attached, but differentiated into MCs after FPS treatment. To isolate human bone marrow mononuclear cells, or MNC, Begin by diluting 5 to 10 milliliters of fresh bone marrow up to a total volume of 50 milliliters with DPBS and mix the cell solution by inversion. Next, equally distribute 25 milliliters of cells into two new 50 milliliter conical tubes and add 25 milliliters of fresh DPBS to each tube for a second mix by inversion. Then rest the cells at room temperature to allow the mineral bone fragments and fat to separate from the solution. After 10 minutes, use a Pasteur pipette to carefully remove the floating fat and filter the cell suspensions through individual 70 micron filters without disturbing the mineral bone fragment pellets. To isolate the MNC, layer 20 to 25 milliliters of the diluted bone marrow on top of room temperature 1.077 grams per milliliter density gradient medium in each of two 50 milliliter tubes and separate the cells by centrifugation. Then use a sterile Pasteur pipette to pool the whitish rings of cells at the interfaces in a new 50 milliliter tube. Wash the isolated mononuclear cells with fresh culture medium for 5 minutes at 400 times G and room temperature. Then resuspend the pellet in 5 to 10 milliliters of fresh culture medium. To isolate the MPC, equilibrate hydrophobic T75 flasks with 15 milliliters of fresh culture medium at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide. After 30 minutes, seed 4 to 6 times 10 to the 7 of the human bone marrow mononuclear cells per flask for a 48-hour incubation. On the second day, discard the medium and non-adherent cells from the flasks and feed the cells with 15 milliliters of fresh culture medium. Return the cultures to the incubator for 6 to 8 days. At the end of the incubation, wash the adherent cells with fresh DMEM. Then incubate the cells with 2 milliliters of animal-free protease detaching solution for 5 to 15 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. When the cells have lifted from the bottom of the flask, add 10 milliliters of fresh culture medium to stop the reaction and collect the cells by centrifugation, resuspending the pellet in 1 to 2 milliliters of fresh culture medium. After counting the MPC, plate 2 times 10 to the 4 per square centimeter of the cells into tissue culture treated T75 culture flasks and adhere the cells overnight in 15 milliliters of fresh culture medium in the cell culture incubator. The next morning, replace the cultured medium with 200 microliters per square centimeter of mesenchymal stromal cell or MSC expansion medium and culture the cells for another 7 to 10 days. When the cultures have reached confluence, subculture at 3 to 5 times 10 to the 3 cells per square centimeter until reaching a new confluence of passage 2 MSC. Then perform protease digestion to collect the cells as previously demonstrated. Plate 2 times 10 to the 4 cells per square centimeter in tissue culture treated 6 well plates in fresh expansion medium. After growing the cultures to confluence again, mark 2 wells as no differentiation and refresh the expansion medium. 
mark two wells as osteoblasts, and replace the medium with 200 microliters per square centimeter of standard osteogenic medium specifically designed for MSC differentiation. Then mark two wells as adipocytes, and replace medium with 200 microliters per square centimeter of standard adipogenic medium specifically designed for MSC differentiation. Return the cells to the cell culture incubator for two to three weeks until the cells have differentiated, then proceed to fluorescent detection of extracellular calcium deposits and intracellular lipid droplets accumulation. To produce 3D spheroids, seed a large number of 20 microliter drops of freshly isolated MPC suspension on the inner surface of a petri dish lid. When all of the drops have been placed, carefully place the lid onto a petri dish base containing DPBS to prevent hanging drop evaporation, and place the plate in the cell culture incubator overnight. The next morning, add 300 microliter aliquots of standard extracellular matrix proteins to each well of a 4 degrees Celsius 24 well culture plate, and gel the matrix proteins at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Add 700 microliters of standard vascular endothelial growth factor rich endothelial cell growth medium onto the gelled ECM proteins. When the MPC have aggregated into 3D spheroids, carefully invert the petri dish lid and use a sterile pasteur pipette to gently harvest the spheroids. Finally, seed the spheroids into the culture wells and return the plate into the incubator. Morphologically, MPC are characterized by their distinctive fried egg shape, with a thick core region surrounded by a flat thin periphery exhibiting many philopodia. Polar elongation of the outer cell boundary is also often observed. MPC culture in MSC expansion medium results in the rapid but partial differentiation into proliferating flat and multi-branched cells, with residual undifferentiated MPC still detectable. After a further passage, cultures result in a monolayer of exponentially growing MSC-like cells. In the process, the MPC reorganize their F-actin into stress fibers, while the nestin expression becomes confined to a few rare cells. Flow cytometry of freshly isolated MPC shows over 95% of cells expressing CD31 and CD45, but lacking mesenchymal-associated antigens CD90 and CD73. These latest antigens are highly expressed only after a complete differentiation into MSC. Confirming their mesenchymal nature, when fed with differentiating medium for at least two weeks, these cells can readily be induced into osteoblasts, as indicated by their calcium deposits, or adipocytes, as apparent by the lipid droplet accumulation, confirming the MSC nature of the pre-differentiated cell cultures. MPC typing is further confirmed in a sprouting angiogenesis assay, with the cells exhibiting an ability to invade a murine extracellular matrix protein gel from 3D spheroids after 24 hours of vascular endothelial growth factor stimulus. After one week, the invading cells migrate over an even greater distance, an invasion capacity that is lost in second passage MSCs after their mesogenic differentiation. Once mastered, MPC cultures can be established in one hour if set up properly, providing between one or two million MPCs less than a week. When attempting this procedure, it's important to evaluate the performance of human sera batches before their use in culture. At the moment, our MPC isolation protocol is the only available method for obtaining high reproducible near pure MPC culture for further downstream application. After its development, this technique paved the way for researchers in the field of cell-based therapies to explore the possibility to apply MPC in skeletal tissue regeneration.